Ah, Java, the programming language that everyone loves to hate. But back in 1995, Java was actually named one of the 10 best products of 1995 by Time Magazine. How did this interesting language come to exist, and why is it so popular despite its flaws? Well, originally named Oak, a name that cannot be used due to a pre-existing trademark, the Java project was started in 1991 at Sun Microsystems by a team led by a man named James Gosling, called the Green Team. An employee of Sun Microsystems at the time, James Gosling earned a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science from the University of Calgary and a PhD in Computer Science from Carnegie Mellon University. The goal of the Green Project was to examine the up-and-coming consumer electronics market. They decided that development needed to be a more platform-neutral process and started by extending the C++ compiler. Once it was clear that C++ wasn't a fit, Java development began. By 1992, the Green Team had created its first device running on Java technology, a PDA device named Star 7 with an animated touchscreen interface featuring none other than Java's mascot, Duke, available to assist the user. In 1993, the Green Team became a wholly owned subsidiary of some microsystems named First Person, which pursued a Time Warner request for a proposal for an interactive cable TV system. Unfortunately, Sun didn't win the contract, First Person was rolled back into Sun, and the team changed focus to online services, CD-ROMs, and desktops. By 1994, Sun had finally found a real use for its new platform-agnostic programming language, the World Wide Web. A browser named Web Runner and later Hot Java was built and demonstrated to Sun executives. With JavaScript not yet released, Hot Java's support for moving objects and, and dynamic executable content represented exciting new features for the web. Sun's executives were pleased. 1994 was also the year that the Java compiler was first implemented in Java itself. 1995 was release year for Java and its web browser. After years in development, Sun had finally found a spot in the market for its new platform neutral language and it was time to release it to the world. It didn't take long for Java to reach tens of thousands of downloads. Impressive, especially given the smaller number of people on the internet at this time, and the release was a huge success. Part of this success was of course support for Java in Netscape Navigator, which came September 18, 1995. After the release, in 1996, a host of new APIs were added to the language, including the Java Media API, the Telephony API, and the Card API, which would allow Java to be run on SIM cards and other smart cards. The first Java conference also drew 6,000 attendees that year. By 2006, after a decade of new and improved APIs and putting Java nearly everywhere, Java is finally open sourced under the GNU General Public License. Java SE 6 was released in the same year. In 2007, Java FX was released, an improved Java GUI library using XML intended to replace the earlier Swing library, and in 2008, Android was released. Android uses Java for its UI code and application development and generates huge interest in the language to this day. In 2009, Sun was acquired by Oracle, and Java thus became an Oracle product. Perhaps more important in 2009, the first version of Minecraft was released. Personally, my two biggest motivations for learning Java were Android and Minecraft. Minecraft made a big splash for Java in the gaming industry and inspired many young developers to learn the language in order to expand on the game with their own mods and, and plugins. Since then, while Java has long lost its spot as the web's programming language to JavaScript, Java has continued to grow and improve. Java currently sits at the top of the TOB index at the time of this video, so it has maintained its spot as one of the world's top programming languages. With a number of JVM-based languages coming along to work in place of Java, such as Kotlin, Scala, and Clojure, it's unclear whether or not the Java language will lose ground to these in the future. However, as a platform, Java appears to be here to stay. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you did enjoy it, please click that like button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more of this content in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.